Hello Internet, this is Barry Donning with Exceed Your Goals Fitness and today I want to talk about a subject that is particularly important to me um, and this is the relationship between being deconditioned and lower back pain and that is how working out in particular can help you overcome and possibly defeat lower back pain issues. Now before I get started on even discussing any of this I want to go ahead and put it out there if you have serious lower back pain you need to see a doctor and make sure that there's not some major underlying issues. You do not want to go in with low back pain in a deconditioned state and do max, max outs on heavy deadlifts or something crazy like that. Obviously you need clearance from a doctor if you have serious medical issues pertaining to your lower back before you exercise to make sure that you know, all the doctor's recommendations can be followed. But that said, most people who have lower back pain do have lower back pain not so much because they have a major uh, injury to their back, but more so because they have weakness in their lower back, which has often been created uh, uh, through postural problems or uh, long periods of time sitting in a chair, like what I'm doing right now, or um, you know, just generally losing strength in your core, and then as a result, your lower back, which gets a lot of activity throughout the day, it's used almost constantly, um, just becomes sore easily, and then due to that soreness, it might cause you to sit uh, badly in chairs and things and use bad posture which is going to cause further and further damage to your lower back. So that could lead to one of those major injuries down the road where you can't exercise, etc. So it's really important to maintain core strength and as, as a way to improve lower back pain. Now this is important to me personally because I came home from a long cycle of touring as a musician at which point I, you know, I, in my 20s I lifted weights really heavily and I was very into physical fitness. Then, uh, you know, in my early 30s, I spent a long time touring, uh, playing music, and I was sleeping on floors, and eating bad nutrition, and I lost all my muscle mass. But as a mu musical performer, I like to do things like jump off tall stages and other things. And in a weakened state, I injured my lower back pretty significantly. It was hard for me to get out of bed. Uh, I gained, you know, upwards of 90 pounds of fat, you know, just uh, dealing with that deconditioned state. So. When I went uh, and decided to take recharge and take control of my health, I went back to the gym and the first thing I knew I needed to do was to fundamentally rebuild my upper body strength because my low back pain was just constant. So this meant that when I was going to the gym, I was suffering from the low back pain, which is itself made things really hard. Now, I started off doing um, you know, uh, mainly things like planks uh, as far as for my core work because at that time I had such severe lower back pain I couldn't really do sit-ups, I couldn't really do uh, you know, those type of activities. Once I developed core strength by doing planks, you know, at first I could only do 10, 20, 30 seconds and you know, now I can do it for a minute plus. Um, at that time, once, once I developed some, some capabilities, you know, strengthened my transverse abdominis uh, through the planks, I was able to move on to some other lower back intensive exercises which eventually I started doing deadlifts and now you know I'd, I'd maxed on the deadlift last week at 345 pounds so and this was only maybe about a year and a half two maybe two and a half years ago that I had started you know rebuilding my strength first with the planks and then later on with with specific movements that target the area you know such as the deadlift so those of you who are experiencing some lower back pain you know where it's making your daily life difficult to tolerate there's a really high possibility that rather than going down the pain management route, rather than going down that route and becoming one of those people who's, you know, some people get sucked into a system where they're doing, you know, pain medications for the rest of their life that are really bad for your health. Instead of going down that road, if you're not so injured that you can't work out, then you need to go ahead and start working out because this could and probably will totally fix your problem. Bear in mind, I couldn't get out of bed. I gained 90 pounds of solid fat. I was just in a in a about the worst physical health I could have been in. I thought I was for sure headed down the road to just, you know, I was just an old person. I felt at that point, but going going in there and, and doing starting with the planks and working my way up and building up, you know, enough strength to be able to to um, do deadlifts and other movements. You know, essentially by going in and starting with simple core rebuilding work with stability and mobility movements that will help you know at first reduce the pain and then developing strength through resistance training and you're you'll be able to you know have a strong enough lower back to be able to tolerate all the activities of daily life which are naturally a challenge on the lower back so I would highly recommend anyone who's dealing with lower back pain 
to look at first, you know, getting a, maybe a stability and mobility training. Make sure you don't do anything with bad form or, or exercises that you're unable to do or go out and do heavy deadlifts that are outside of your skill level. But that said, working to rebuild uh, your stability in your lower back and your core strength and then overall strength is going to make it where you're not only going to reduce that back pain, but you're also not going to suffer additional injuries and back pain in the future. So, you know, one way of looking at it is you can have two or three days out of the week where you have lower back delayed onset muscle soreness or whatever from working out, or you can have seven days a week where you have lower back pain from underlying issues that are getting worse and worse due to having insufficient core strength. So I highly recommend anyone who's interested in, you know, overcoming lower back pain, who doesn't want to go down the pain management drug route, who instead wants an all-natural way to do it. One all-natural way to do it is just simply to increase your core strength. In fact, a lot of times when you go to the doctor, the doctor might recommend that route as well. So, you know, if, like I said though, if you got lower back pain, make sure you're cleared from, by the doctor to work out. And if you are, make sure you're doing it and, you know, if you need a professional help, professional's help in order to do the exercises right, you don't want to injure your lower back by doing the exercises wrong. But by building your strength in your lower back, you can't overcome that pain.